of course the third week. This is probably one of the hardest weeks of it because you guys have been going so hard. All the different temperature changes, the weather changes. I mean, you guys have gone through a pretty grueling uh, schedule. Yes, sir. Um, you know, we, we're going to get hit with adversity during the season. So every time, you know, it rains, it's hot outside, we always say thank you because we want adversity. We play better when we have adversity. So. And of course, you're transitioning over from wide receiver and onto the defense. How has that been? It's been good. Um, it's been a lot of more mental and getting in my playbook and knowing my technique more. Um, on When I was on offense, you know, it was more like finesse. I've always had the ball in my hand, but coming to defense, I got to really work on my technique, get my playbook and know what I'm doing. And of course, before you wanted to see the quarterback do well, now you're like, got to make sure he doesn't do his, get his job done. Yes, sir. I always want to pick. I always want to pass, break up, anything like that. Uh, it's good, you know, Tez, he really pushes me. Um, Hayden came in, does a real good job. He's a good quarterback, he can throw. So that's giving me a good look throughout the season. And of course, the skills you had at wide receiver, the speed, the, the, the explosiveness, that that plays in well on quarter, at cornerback. Yes, sir, um, it's good for ball skills, just seeing the ball up in the air, going to get it. Um, Cause some DBs don't have that. So when they see the ball in the air, they, in the air, they panic and then they, they don't get the ball. So me playing receiver and all that is good for the ball skills and all that. Fantastic last season. How do you build on that for this year? Uh, this year we just got to work on getting better day by day. Uh, you know, be thankful for the accomplishments that I had last year, but also look to exceed what I did last year and, you know, get better as a kicker and a person. And of course, everybody, when they see camp film, it's always like the offense and the defense. They don't see the kickers a whole lot, but you guys are still putting in a lot of work. Yeah, we, we do. We put in a lot of behind the scenes work. Uh, we come out 45 minutes before everybody else does so we can get warmed up and stuff, ready to go for practice. Uh, you know, everybody sees all the offense and defense, but we're on the sideline getting our reps, uh, just the unseen stuff. Second scrimmage is tomorrow. What, what are you guys looking forward to? Uh, what, what are the goals? Uh, we're looking to come out with a lot of energy. Um, we want to get better each day, so you know, get better 1%. Um, you know, last scrimmage we kind of had a little bit of adversity with that rain, so this scrimmage will be a lot of more details and effectiveness and, you know, getting our jobs done and kind of limiting the misassignments that we had last scrimmage. And of course, less than two weeks away from the regular season, it's hard to believe it's almost here. It is, yeah. Uh, camp's flown by. We're already almost, you know, concluding our third week and uh, we're pumped for the season to start. We can't, we can't wait. We got some stuff to work on, but we can't wait for it to start. Well, Hayden, first camp for Tennessee Tech. How's it been so far? Uh, it's actually been one of the harder camps I've, I've been to in my college career. Um, Coach Sad asked a lot of us, and uh, we just got to get it done, like I said. Uh, your first couple of years, you're at LSU and then Rutgers, have your degree, working in graduate studies. How's the transition been? Um, it's a lot different coming from uh, being a California native, but then going to Louisiana and then um, heading up to New Jersey, which was a lot different being on the East Coast. But I'm used to the South, and I like Tennessee a lot. It's treat me well. And you've you've had your share of really good receivers to throw to. How have the receivers here been? How do you, how do they compare? Fontes is a weapon. It's very good, and uh, our other receivers are very good as well. So, I mean, I think we have a good uh, wide receiving core. Brand new group of quarterbacks. So, how how has that been? Oh, it's been interesting. It's been interesting. It's been great so far. You know, got a great group of guys that work hard and come out and compete every day. Um, they bought in. That's the biggest thing. Bought into Coach Sats' culture. Bought into what's going on here and, and being one of us and joining the program and doing what we need them to do. And it's been a you know pleasure to be here. Pleasure to coach the guys. And I guess one of the best things is a lot of the quarterbacks that are coming in. They do have experience. Yeah, got a lot of guys. Got a different. You know, ranges of guys, got old guys, got young guys, got guys from junior college, got some transfer guys, got two that have been here. So I'm just excited to be around those guys. They're awesome guys to, to not only just coach, but to, to be around. And they bought in totally to our program. And it's a, you know, a blessing to be able to run, coach those guys every day. And of course, trying to learn Coach Satterfield's system and then trying to teach it to these quarterbacks. How has that been? Well, it, the best part about it is 
he knows his system better than anybody in the world. Yeah. So his door is always open. If I got a question, he answers it uh, so I can relay to the quarterbacks whatever uh, needs. But, you know, the best part about it is he's the best teacher I've ever been around, best coach I've ever been around, and he teaches me and I teach them, and it works out well. What strengths do you see from Texas quarterbacks? You know, we got a bunch of different types of quarterbacks. That's the thing about it. We got guys with strong arms. We got guys that can they can uh, distribute the ball evenly. We got some athletic guys that can really run. So that's the best part about it is we got some different, you know, different guys that can do different things. But um, the biggest thing that I see their strength is is that they love football, and that's the you can't teach that. And scrim second scrimmage tomorrow. What goals do you guys have for tomorrow? It's to get better you know, every day, every day, every day, get better. But we got to be better than we were last week's scrimmage. And we had a lot of miscues and stuff. Our energy was there. It was great. Last week we had a lot of procedural stuff, had some stuff um, execution-wise we got to get cleaned up. So hopefully we'll come out tomorrow and execute. We got treated like game day. We got to show up. We got to focus. It's all about us. So we can't, we can't lose sight of that. We got to show up like it's game day and go up and perform.